scar on her back. And I'm like, well, I got to release that scar first. And she goes, oh, well, I had a C-section, and then I had two surgeries on my large intestine. Okay, so let me work on those. And I'm like, let's see your flexibility. She could barely move backwards. She could only bend forward like this, and she had no side to side. All I did was use that and did the scar release. She could bend all the way back. She could bend down and reach, teach, teach, touch her toes and go from side to side. And she's like, that was just with the scars. And I'm like, yeah, it's amazing how little scar tissue will do. And I said, plus the essential oils, I said it really you know, released it very, very quickly. John, what'd you put on her scar now? That which, was the essential which breeze. The essential breeze. The one with um, the myrrh and the frankincense. The expensive one. Yeah, the expensive one. <laughs> until until like he markets that other stuff. <laughs> <laughs> what, the, the five elements one is going to be? I'm like, like, like I'm going to like help them make a bottle for it. And like, just like, is it two? Or is it the marketing one? I'm telling you, because once people get a hold of that and they use it as, if, they were, if you were to market a bottle of, of essential perfume or cologne and tell people where to put it, P6. CB17, you know, a couple of points, and, and market it in a way. Do you have any limitations with your bending? I, I would call it green cologne, it green good. perfume. Yeah. Put in a green bottle. And that's right. You need to do. Yes, because everybody's going crazy with green. What's, what's the disability? You want to show the rotation, John, before you do that? You got another scar right there. That, well, that's just from Jeff. So that's as far as you can. It's not as deep as that one. It's okay. I'm, I'll still do it. And I can't straighten it either. That's my, that's my joint. No coincidence. That is so amazing. I don't know. Yes, you can. Yeah, you just use this confirmation. I'm going to have to show that to you. Share it. It's Ariana. And I actually had a, I was telling Laney, I had a client that I worked on yesterday before I swung by here. Um, yesterday was the second time I worked on him. He had um, a lot of shoulder pain and back pain and neck pain. And he had a ruptured biceps tendon. He couldn't put any pressure on, on his arm. He couldn't hold a pen. And all I did with him was scar release and standard protocol and the shoulder treatment. And when I got done, he was actually able to do push-ups. And he was like, oh my god, I've not been able to do that in like a year. Are you collecting money yet? I've got an envelope, guys, so whenever if you have a moment, you want to put your cash in here so I can pay the man. I did. <laughs> and if it's $7, just, just so if so you need change, just write on the envelope if you put more, like if you only have a 10 or something like that, and I can pay you back. Okay? I just put enough oil on so that the scar is wet, or moist, not really sopping wet, but it's at least moist enough until the phone. You can barely even feel it. Yeah, you can, you can barely even feel it. Take the next step and move forward, and you're ready. Oh my gosh, I just. Everyone's gonna want to know why you're crying. Why are you crying? Okay, at lunch time, guys, we'll get we'll 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 explain. Well, like, okay, it's like a miracle that has happened, and we all need to know. Yeah. And Bill's shoulder is in that picture. Yeah. <laughs> so Bill has it's all about Bill. Bill has been blessed. It's by all the about scroll. Bill. Don't tell him it's Bill. Did just put a little bit of oil on? <laughs> yeah, I, I put oil completely over the scar. <laughs> just put a dab on my on my finger and just <laughs> went right over. Wow. Hang in there. What, um, you said frankincense, sandalwood, myrrh, sage, and something. Rosemary and a couple of No, there's a part I'm in. A song? Rosemary. Yeah. How much that person is correct? Maybe Jesus' point. 
Well, basically, I actually did it because I wanted a spiritual lens just for meditation. And then when I found out that the high vibrations were good for scar tissues, then I started doing that. Those were those were those were this is probably negative. That's negative. It was exactly. So you picked ones that had a high vibration. It was. Oh yeah. They were. You know. Did you get that? Yeah. Okay, so let's, uh, what do you want to get? Oh, yeah. She couldn't yeah. stretch it out before? She couldn't anyway. extend it? No, it's always like this. Yeah, she couldn't stretch it out before. Now she can completely. She gets full extension. This is 1973. Oh, wow. wow. And I've, I've seen this. And, and it's funny because we're we're not like, wow, because we see this all the time. I mean, all the time. It's tight but you still have that scar tissue over there, which is probably No, I mean, I, I didn't feel this before. But the other thing, too, is okay. this was, this was, she didn't even have to point the scar out today because it was such a crevice that you could actually see it across the room. Now it's just, you can barely see it. Yeah, you feel it, it's not half as, as ropey as what it was. Yeah. External rotation. It doesn't look as white as it was before. That's her hand right there. She can totally external. Ah, that's did you get it before? I did. Yeah, because I wanted it right in front because that's where I was before. Beautiful. And you can fully extend you while you're rotating, so. so. I, I hyperextend anyway. It's going to be magic. Yeah, I already told Judy I was going to go. I just wish I could get everyone to do it. Oh, yeah, she told me that she's got other plans. All right, so she's got no, and I, I, I've had people like that where I haven't used the oil, and it's taken me a couple times, and with the oil, it just seems to just automatically release it. Is there anybody else that has a scar so we can kind of do it like with and without so you can see the difference? A burn scar? I actually have a patient that I do her, uh, she was burned when she was a little girl. She's in her 50s. And I'm actually still releasing her burn scars. Oh, for the whole I had a friend yeah. yeah. high school. Yeah. Yeah. His hand got pulled into the old ring, ringer thing. And he had all, I mean, it just basically peeled his skin off. It's like, can't go over the top. Nice. Ryan's being picky in the old days. Right, because you feel like she could do it. Restriction, right? You see, that's... I know. I talked to him. I don't having, know where he is. You have but, the yeah. frequency of so. the essential oil. And then you have the frequency of the direct current, and you have the frequency of the practitioner's heart. Okay? You have three frequencies going along here, and then you have her frequency. You have a card in there? All four frequencies are now going around and around and around in circle and achieves that. This looks better. Yeah, much better. And then you, you can just, yeah, that's not even stuck to the elbow anymore. And it's not as thick and ropey. Mm -hmm. I mean, I can actually pick that up now. For all you guys that are just kind of getting into the ETPS, I mean, you know, John and I and Irene, we've been doing it for a while. You will get a lot of release. I mean, just huge release from just scars. And once you do that, I mean, everything else just falls into place. <coughs> it, it truly does. I think what we'll do is um, let's go ahead and